Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's nice to meet you. I'm Keely, and in today's video, I'm showing you guys how I have blown up for you guys, despite the fact that I'm blind and not wearing my glasses. So without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. I know I look way different in this clip than the previous clip, but I'm going to show you guys how I got to that point in the first place. But first things first, I always do my skincare routine before I blow up. So if you guys want to check that out, it will be up in the information cards and down in the description box for you guys below. But after that, I always, always apply chapstick. Next, I will pull my hair back because I don't want any of my makeup getting in my hair. And I just use these nice rubber hair ties that I got from Walmart. And next I'm going to be applying my primer. So I use the Spotlight Primer by Physicians Formula. Now I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Organic Wear Foundation Elixir. Now I'm going to use my Healthy Foundation in LC1 as a concealer. After that, I am going in with my Organic Wear Bronzer. Once my bronzer is done, I will be going in with my blush. This is my Butter Blush. Next is my highlighter from the Positions Formula and Casey Holmes palette. I am going to be using this nice gold shade in this palette. Well, Merry Christmas. Next, I'm going to start on my eyeshadow. And my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Tropical Days palette. Any and all shades that I use will be up on the screen. To you and your kid, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us some figgy pudding. Now bring us some figgy pudding. I talk about this trick all the time here on both this channel and my vlog channel. And I like to take highlighter on my finger and I do it in the corners of my eyes. Not only does this help make you look way more awake, but it also helps your whole look get tied together. Just like that. Next for my mascara, I use two different mascaras. So I use the Physicians Formula Mixologist Mascara and I also use the Killer Curves Mascara from Physicians Formula. After my mascara is done, I am setting my face with the Physicians Formula 3-in-1 Setting Powder. So this has three different steps. If you guys want a more thorough tutorial and how I use this, you guys can either check out my Thanksgiving Get Ready With Me or you guys can do the review. I will have the Thanksgiving Get Ready With Me up in the information cards. Out here, the tidings we bring to you and your kid. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy After my face is set with that powder, I do my lips. So for my lips, I am using the Lip Gloss by Pretty Beauty by Marcy and my Red Stortive Effects Healthy Lipstick. You and your kid, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Now that my lips are done and the rest of our face is done, it is time to set our face and I use the Illuminating Rose All Stay Setting Spray from Physicians Formula. This is the final makeup look. So now it is time to work on the hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to curl my hair for you guys today. If you guys want a more thorough tutorial on how I curl my hair, I will happily walk you guys through it just a little bit, but I do have a lot of hair, so I'm not going to do it all the way. So the first thing that I do is I section off my hair. I like to do three different sections. So I will do the very top of my hair. And it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. I just do this because my hair is actually really, really thick. So I tie off section number one, and then I grab my other hair tie that I just took out of my hair, and then I section this off one more time. Next, I'm going to bring the rest of my hair forward, split it in half, and then I'm going to take my Eco Tools brush, and I'm going to brush my hair out, and then we're going to apply heat protectant as soon as the Sutra Curling Wand is preheated. The heat primer that I use is the Pantene Heat Primer and this protects your hair up to 450 degrees. So this is what I use and my mom uses it as well. So it works for both of our hair types. So now that the heating wand is curled up, I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair. 
So I will start by taking a small-ish section. I don't do too small, but I also don't do too big either. But there's a reason for that. You guys will see it in the very end of the video. But then I will take my hair like this and I will twist it backwards. So I want to twist it away from my face. So I give it a good twist about three or four times. And then what I do is I brush out the very ends of my hair to make sure that there's no tangles. And then it is time to curl it. So with this curling wand, it does have a 360 rotator on the bottom. So that is not a problem. So I go behind my head and then I start curling my hair around the barrel of the wand. And once again, I do this away from my face. And then I leave it for anywhere between 20 and 30 seconds. Once you've reached your 20 to 30 seconds, you're just going to drop the curl. I don't hold mine or anything like that. I just let it fall. And then what I do is I separate the two and I throw the curl back. And I know that it looks really crazy right now, but in the end, you guys are going to see what I do. If you watch my face and get ready with me, you guys already know what happens at the very end. But yeah, now I'm just going to continue curling my hair. So as you guys can see, this is what the curls look like. They're super structured and normally I do it anywhere between 18 and 20 different times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check in with you guys after a little bit of curling and show you guys the current progress. Now when we get to this point, all of our hair is in very structured curls. Now I don't like structured curls. I probably would have kept them like this a couple years ago. But since I learned about volume and, you know, voluminous waves and curls, I don't do that no more. So what I do when I get to this point is I will take a flexible hold hairspray. You don't want an insanely heavy hairspray. A flexible hold hairspray. And I will just spray that along my curls. I will let that sit for just a moment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our fingers to separate the curls from the top of our head down. Now, I've been doing this probably for a couple of years now, and it makes the world of a difference. You never, ever, ever want to pull your curls apart because that's to make them look frizzy and messy, and it just doesn't look good in my opinion. So I will take my fingers. So we're going to take our fingers of five, go up on our scalp, and shake. So as you guys can see, this side got shaken out a little bit more than this side, but that's going to be fixed. So what we're going to do is flip our heads over and then go crazy shaking our curls out. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. And this is what happens when you flip your hair upside down. So I also flip my hair upside down when I do this because you're, you're increasing that volume and then you flip your hair up and then you have all of these magnificent curls. So now what you're going to do is... Do your hairspray. I taught the most for hair because hair is hair. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to bobby pin a couple pieces back and you guys are going to see what that looks like. So just watch and observe. And then like that you have your hair pulled back but it's not too much to where you lose any volume. So this is the hair. And I love this so much. This is literally my favorite thing to do every single year. And then you can bring, you know, some pieces forward. You can leave some pieces back. And you can honestly play with this. It doesn't have to just be done this way. You know, there's other ways you can curl your hair for this time of year. But this is just how I prefer it. And it's my favorite way ever. The last step to my glow up is accessories. So for my accessories, I am wearing this really pretty necklace. It has a gold chain and it's a gold pentagon hexagon that has a jewel inside of it. And then I'm wearing these really pretty gold neutral dangly earrings that have beads. And I feel like both of these work really well together because one's super simple and the other one is pretty intricate. So this is how I blow up. And now we're going to do a final look of how I look with and without glasses. I really hope that 
that you guys learned a thing or two out of this video because I blow up during this time of year quite often and it's because I love this time of year the holidays and it feels magical and I feel like dressing up as a model every single day of the week whether I have the energy for it or not. So you guys got to learn my winter makeup routine for a little bit of glam and spice and you guys learned how I curl my hair with the such a curling wand and I will have the such a curling wand and all of the makeup products used in this video linked down in the description box below for you guys if you guys would like to check those out. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. If you guys are not following along Vlogmas, you guys can go and click the information card up over here to join the Vlogmas family because we are reaching day something by now. And if you guys want to buy any of the Vlogmas merch for this year, I will have the link for that in the description box below as well. And I have actually extended the promotion. Now there is still 25% off through the 20th. So I'm doing that so that you guys can go and get gifts or you guys can shop any of the merch. And I just want to help you guys out as much as possible during this time of year. So the promotion has been extended. So go and use it to your advantage while you can. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you liked and liked these holiday videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, become a part of our wonderful YouTube family here on this channel. With all of that out of the way, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!